Hello everyone, welcome to week 4 of our 2021 EVA e-commerce changes series. My name is Michaela and I'm a business development manager here at Simply VAT. In my role, I'm usually the first point of contact for e-commerce sellers um, and I help them understand their registration needs in the EU and I also advise them on their expansion plans. So this week we will focus on the low value consignment relief scheme. First of all, let's go over what a consignment is. A consignment describes a collection of goods that are packaged together and delivered together. The consignment value is the total value of all the goods inside the package when dispatched to the customer from the supplier. So this typically amounts to the price a customer pays at the checkout, excluding any delivery costs. The low value consignment relief is currently a measure that makes goods with a value of up to 22 euros exempt from VAT when imported into the EU. In recent years, as e-commerce selling has rapidly increased, this exemption has led to fraudulent practices and has given an unfair advantage to non-EU businesses. So to reconcile the loss in revenue for EU tax administrations, this exemption is being abolished from July 2021. In removing this exemption, EU and non-EU businesses are given a level playing field in the European market. After the new rules are introduced, VT will be due on all commercial consignments imported into the EU. The idea is that businesses should tax at destination and that should be paid where goods are consumed. To this end, sellers will be required to apply VAT rates based on where customers are located. The abolition of low value consignment relief may cause issues for non-EU businesses as they will be required now to register and report intra-EU sales in each country where customers are based. To lighten the administrative burden, the IO scheme has been created so that non-EU businesses can register in one EU member state and report all their EU sales of imported goods through one monthly electronic report. Businesses who use IOS would charge the customer's local rate of VAT at the point of sale if the consignment value remains below 150 euros. If the consignment exceeds 150 euros or you choose not to use the IOS scheme, that will be collected at importation. Customers will only receive goods once the VAT has been paid by the importer of record. If these charges are left to the customers, this means that um, this could cause increased administrative burden and poor customer experience. To prepare for these changes, it's important to know where your customers um, will be located so that you can apply the correct VAT rates to your EU sales. E-commerce businesses should also review their supply chain to understand where these changes may affect them. If you are unsure about how the EU VAT reform may um, affect your business, speak to one of our experts who can help you create an actionable plan to stay compliant in the EU. Thank you very much.